Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Anna and today I have another seller's haul for you guys. And you guys, I am so, so excited about these next couple of sales. So if you don't know, I actually did not end up going to Denver this year. I know, I know, I keep saying it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. And then unfortunately I don't, but that's because it actually fell on my birthday week and I actually went away on vacation so that's kind of why I wasn't able to make it out to Denver this time around but you guys just because we didn't get to go to Denver does not mean that I did not get you guys some amazing goodies from Denver so this will officially be our first Denver live sales so a lot of these are straight from the gem show I am so so excited about these and you guys I am not done shopping yet I still have a lot more inventory coming in for from the gem show a lot of things that I've never been able to unfortunately source online or with vendors like in different locations so I'm so excited because we have some amazing things coming up and then obviously I was able to source some amazing things for this week's live sale so I'm super excited so definitely stay tuned a lot of these items are very first and new to my shop like I've never had them before some items are not new but different forms of them and yeah let's just get right into it because we have so many goodies but definitely stick around because the next sale will be a Denver part two. I might even do a part three depending on when all of my other Denver items arrive because as I mentioned as of now I'm actually still shopping at Denver. If you guys don't know it's about a two to three week show so there's a lot there's a lot of inventory there's a lot to look at so I'm actually still shopping. The people that are shopping for me at the gem show are constantly sending me videos and pictures of items so I'm still picking out things for you guys so yeah so definitely stay tuned because there might even be a part three Denver live sale, but definitely a part one and two. I'm crossing my fingers that some of the items that I still have at the Denver Gem Show will make it in for the next live sale in two weeks. But if not, again, there just might be a part three. And listen, that is totally okay. And I'm so excited because again, we just have so many goodies coming and then obviously a brand new table this week. So let's get right into it because I'm so excited to show you guys what is out on the table. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys, it's kind of spread out towards the back on the left and right hand side I was able to get these beautiful ethically preserved butterflies from Peru I am so excited about these so they all have their names right at the bottom sorry I know that's a little blurry at the bottom of the frame so you guys can know what butterflies these are and what I mean by ethically sourced is that they don't just kill these butterflies to frame them if you guys don't know a lot of these butterflies only have a two to three week life lifespan unfortunately so once they do pass away they start the preservation process and they put them in these absolutely stunning frames now I'm not gonna lie I remember seeing these previous years and I was just I don't know there was something about them that I wasn't drawn to them and I didn't necessarily need them for the shop or want them at the time but I did notice that a lot of these butterflies are doing really well for other shops. I've had some people ask about them. So when I saw these at the Denver Gem Show, of course I had to pick them up for you guys. They're really, really gorgeous. I will say I probably will have them more affordable than other people because I know people who get like blue butterflies or like more rare species tend to kind of price it up. I am not a butterfly connoisseur, so they are all priced at the same price. They're all, they each have two butterflies each, one smaller, one bigger. There are one or two frames that have like medium sized butterflies, but honestly, I just price them all the same because again, I'm not a bug connoisseur, so I'm not sure which ones are more rare, which aren't. So you guys might actually be getting some really good deals on these because I've seen these start at like the 50 60 ranges mines are going to be a lot lower than that number one because i got them for a good price and then again number two i'm not a butterfly or bug connoisseur so i'm not sure like what butterflies are more rare which ones aren't so you guys are going to get really good deals on them and if you do know your butterflies and there are rare ones don't say anything <laughs> again i'm not sure because again i don't know bugs like that but i was kind of excited about that so as i mentioned i wasn't really into them but i'm not gonna lie when i got these in i kept two of the frames for myself i wasn't even planning on it i just kind of got them in for 
the shop because I was like, I see that a lot of people who like crystals love these framed butterflies. So I wasn't even thinking of keeping any for myself, but I'm not gonna lie, when I actually got them in and looked at them, there was just something so magical about them and beautiful that I actually ended up keeping two for myself, which I'm really, really happy with. So yeah, if you're into butterflies, definitely join. If it's something you've been looking for, we finally have them. If you're not, I definitely was not into them for a long time, but recently I've gotten into them. You know, try it out, see what happens. Then the next thing we have on the left-hand side, you guys, I was able to restock up on these gorgeous Ethiopian water opals. So the water opals will come with the jars that they are in. They are absolutely breathtaking. I do have a few higher quality pieces, some lower quality pieces at really good prices. So you guys are going to get these for really good deals. So for folks that have been wanting water opal, but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, I have some affordable pieces. The most affordable one starts at $12, you guys, $12. And then that biggest one goes into the hundred range. So we will have a really good range on them. I also was able to snag some beautiful garnets on Smokies, but I actually got a few of just Smoky points with the garnets. Before, I had the clusters with a lot of Felsfar, and I do still have a few of those options that I snagged, but I did snag just like these one-off Smoky Quartz points with the garnets. I know they did really, really well. I feel like they are gonna be a really big hit this year as well. I did see some shops grab these for their shops at the gem show. So I am super excited about that. And then of course, I do have some that will have a lot of felspar in it. But again, I just wanted to get the options for the folks that are more new or just joining my page or my shop. I recently have had a lot of new followers. So I thank you guys so much for following along with me. I also picked up a crowd favorite that I haven't had in a while. I picked up these stunning running kunzite pieces the last time i had these these did really really well for me so i did snag up just a couple more pieces because again i know some of you guys have already snagged them when i had them previously i actually think it's probably been over a year a year and a half since i've had like raw nice polished kunzite pieces so i did pick up some of those i also have some really beautiful fluorites from china you guys, look at how gorgeous these are. So these first set right here in the front, it's kind of hard to tell. They have a beautiful purple and blue mix, which I am absolutely obsessed with. They are such gorgeous pieces, you guys. Look at how good these are. And these are 100% natural. These are not treated. There are a lot of kind of blue fluorites that are treated that come out of China. These are 100% natural and a lot of them to their core have some beautiful purple in it. So it really is a beautiful mix of purple and blue. It's kind of hard to tell on camera because I feel like it is showing purple. But I do promise when you actually get it in person, you will see that it has more of a beautiful kind of purple blue tone to it. I would say more blue in person, but I will say that the camera is showing more purple. So yeah, so just bear that in mind, but they are absolutely stunning. And then you guys, I am so, so excited about these. When I first became a collector, I got some more piece of this beautiful glassy green fluorites from China. And it ran me about $150. And ever since, I've been looking for some for you guys. And you guys, I finally found some and I found them at really amazing prices and you guys the quality in these i mean absolutely insane they are beautiful they are transparent they are really really glassy and gorgeous and again natural colors these are not heat treated these are not dyed these are natural colors and you guys look at how stunning oh my god honestly the video does this no justice these are true like glassy fluorites and i'm so excited about these because i absolutely love the piece that i have it is still in my collection when i first got it when i was a collector before i even became my own shop and i'm still obsessed with it i still have not parted with it so i wanted to get a few for you guys because they really are absolutely outstanding now let's get on to the rest of the table a lot of these items are new to the shop and i'm so excited about these the first find are these gorgeous 
Moose Quiz Florence. I might be mispronouncing it. I will put the name up on the left hand side. They are these absolutely stunning cubic fluorites from Mexico, specifically from the Tool Mine. So a lot of folks call them Moose Quiz and another trade name for them could be Tool Fluorite because they come from the Tool Mine in Mexico. You guys, the video does this no justice. Like that beautiful cubic formation is in Sane. They are so, so good. They are so saturated, so purple. I'm absolutely obsessed with these finds. These are such a unique and beautiful find. Like I've never seen such like tiny cubic formations on Flore. And again, these are from a Mexican locality. You guys, absolutely stunning. So all of my fluorite lovers, definitely get your typing fingers ready because these are so, so good. They are more on the fragile side, so you definitely want to handle them with care. Then the next find, which you guys, I am so, so stoked about. I was able to find green halite from Poland. So these have been popping off, I want to say, ever since the beginning of the year. A lot of shops, not a lot of shops, a few shops have gotten them in. And I did see a lot of shops grab them at the Denver Gem Show. I actually did not grab these at the Denver Gem Show. I got them actually right before the show, but I'm super excited that I saw a lot of shops getting it because I do think that this is gonna be another one of those it crystals. I wanna say two, three years ago, those pink halides from California were the it crystals, but I will say these greens from Poland, you guys, are outstanding. Now I do have a lot of them that have that ombre effect. So they go from green to white. And then I do have some pieces that are just all green. And you guys, the video does this no justice. They are so lustrous, glittery. They're super, super pretty in person. They are, I want to warn you guys, on their higher price side, they are more rare, more scarce. So they are priced kind of on the higher end. But again, just be mindful, it is a newer find. They're really, really gorgeous. And they're now becoming really popular. So they are kind of selling for high prices. Then the next thing I got, which I am so excited about, you guys look at these. So I have gotten Apophyllites and Zealites before into the shop. And I noticed that recently when I've done them, they haven't been a fan favorite. So I haven't gotten any new ones. If you are interested in Apophyllite, please let me know. No, but I did find these gorgeous green apophyllite with peach still bites and you guys excuse me like the high quality of this apophyllite and still bites is out of this world they are so insane and a lot of them have a beautiful cubic formation I am absolutely obsessed this is another thing that I've seen kind of popping off I've seen some shops get but not too many so I'm super excited about getting my hands on these Oh, just like the apophyllite and the peach together. They're just so, so beautiful. And again, look at that luster, you guys. That is insane. That's not a resin or an epoxy coating. That is natural to the crystal itself when it's polished up really well and it's higher quality. Oh, you guys. Like, hello. Oh my God. They are drop dead gorgeous. Also, I want to say a bit more on the pricier side. But you guys, I promise if you get a piece, so, so worth it. Then the next find I have, also coming out of Mexico, are these gorgeous green garnets with epido inclusions in them. How insane. So if you guys see these little kind of like black inclusions are really dark, deep green epidote. And then the beautiful, shiny, faceted little bubbles on here are green garnets also from Mexico. These are actually found in Veracruz, Mexico. So where Veracruz amethyst comes from in that same region. You guys, how absolutely jaw dropping. I did have those stunning pink garnets from Mexico that you guys loved. And now if you did snag a pink piece, you can snag a beautiful green piece. You guys, they are so so good. <laughs> I hope a lot of my raw specimen lovers join this week's sale because, oh, this is like a raw specimen person's dream. I'm not going to lie. I kept one of each and every single piece that I brought into the shop. And then another crowd favorite, but in a different form is back. So a lot of you guys really love those Seraphonite spheres and hearts that I had 
oh, I don't think, I don't know if that was a year ago, <laughs> but it might have been a year ago. But you guys, I got these absolutely stunning slabs from the Gem Show. So again, a bit more pricier. If you guys don't know, those mini spheres and hearts ran in like the 2040 range. So a lot of these will actually be really well priced because they are skinnier slabs. But I did want to get some slabs in for you guys because there's so many of you guys who love this material and wanted to see it in different types of forms. So how good are these, you guys? I'm so excited. This gem show has been a gem, like no pun intended. It has been so fun to see a lot of the new crystals, a lot of bigger statement pieces. I have some really gorgeous rare pieces coming in, which I am super excited about. So definitely save up because these ones are going to be a little bit pricier because you guys know that Denver is usually a bit more expensive than what I buy like my regular wholesales at so just be mindful I also did snag not too many but I did get some beautiful vanadinite clusters from Morocco you guys look at the quality like hello oh my goodness oh these are so good so last time i had these a lot of them did stick around they didn't all sell so i didn't get too many this time around because again i just didn't want them to sit around I but did. i get some beautiful high quality pieces and i honestly cannot wait for you to see them so that is all for this week's haul if you can join me definitely join me over on instagram we're gonna start at 8 p.m eastern standard time this friday night tonight so about two hours after this video posts on YouTube. If not, totally okay. The items will then be available on my website as well as a few select bigger pieces on my Etsy. Now I did see a comment of someone saying that it was unfortunate that I only offer these pieces on live sales, but I actually don't. They do make it over to the website. A lot of items do stay on the website for a couple of weeks. So again, there are different options. So you can join the live sale. I do a story sale right after the live sale of the remaining items, and then everything will be posted to my website. So there are a few ways for you to be able to get your hands on these pieces. It's not only just via live sales, because again, I do understand not everyone has Instagram, not everyone is tech savvy. So I do offer them on other platforms. So definitely just set reminders for my website and my Etsy. So you will get notified when new items are posted because a lot of these items do actually end up making it to the website. So everyone kind of has a fair shot at them. So thank you guys so much for joining. I really hope you guys check out the live sale or the website restock this Saturday and I will see you back for a Denver part two in two weeks. Bye guys.